Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java series. This time I'm going to teach you about auto boxing. So what is auto boxing? It's the automatic conversion of a primitive data type into its wrapper. So basically what we did last episode, but a little different because we don't need to type as much code as we did before. So we also have auto unboxing, which is, you know, the opposite thing. You're turning an object back into a primitive data type by itself, I mean, automatically. So why is it called auto boxing? Like the boxing word, where does that come from? Well, boxing is what we did last episode, turning the primitive data type into an object. So uh, it's called boxing because you're uh, basically surrounding it with a theoretical box. Uh, you're encapsulating the primitive data type with an object, basically. That's the best way I can explain it. And then un unboxing is the same thing, well, the opposite thing, because you're turning an object back into a primitive, primitive data type. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, why use this process of autoboxing? Well, it makes our life easier because we don't need to type as much code, like I said before. So, you know, I mean, whenever you can be lazy, might as well use it, you know? So, it also it prevents errors. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, so let me show you how to auto box. So let's go ahead and uh, auto box an uh, integer here. So we'll do integer. Um, we'll call it uh, int1 equals 100. So basically, we didn't even need to construct the object ourselves like we did with like new uh, integer dot value of or I mean integer dot value of. We didn't need to call that method and all that crap. So Java did all that for us automatically. So all we had to do was assign a value to the uh, variable type wrapper reference here, which is integer into one. That's the integer type, it's the type wrapper reference. So yeah, all we needed to make was a type wrapper, but Java did the rest of the work by making the object for us. And uh, yeah, so behind the scenes, Java did all the work. So um, yeah. So let me show you how to unbox this now. So we could do um, int i equals uh, int, into one okay so now that's like barely any code before we would have had to do like a value int value so we would have had to do that but we're shortening it by just doing that so it's way easier and then likewise up here we could have done like uh, integer uh, dot value of 100 we didn't need to do all that so that's why this yellow underline came up is because we didn't need to do all that java could do it for us if you want to so that's called auto boxing and auto unboxing down here so yeah we can print these out but like we did before in last episode if you want to so plus uh, make sure you have that quote thing in the middle because otherwise it would add the add the values together and we don't want that we just want to print them out so yeah oh we got an error here it's there oh yeah I forgot to add that here okay boom so we get 100 100 awesome so yeah so now I'm going to show you where else auto boxing and unboxing is um, used in Java so first we can look at methods so let's go ahead and do that so yeah uh, let's get rid of all this crap here we're going to make a new class here, just because we need a method, of course, because we're demonstrating auto boxing within methods, like I said. So we'll do auto box. That's what we'll call it. OK. And then we'll have a method here. So it'll be static. So then we can access inside of here, of course. And then we have ends m. We'll just call it m. Uh, let's see. We'll do an integer. we got to do integer parameter. We don't have to, of course, but yeah. So then uh, we'll just return. Uh, v the parameter v so just um yeah so it's a method that takes the integer object and then returns it back as a regular int primitive type so let's look at it so like i said it's taking a integer object right so so if we were to put the number 100 in here 100 is just 100 by itself is just going to be a regular primitive type so right off the bat if we put 100 here it's just going to auto box to an integer object and then here it's going to come to this line and says oh wait we need we, we need to return a um, integer primitive type so it's going to unauto box right back to 100 so yeah so let's go ahead and demonstrate that and I'll try explain explaining again if you don't understand it so um, we'll do integer int1 equals m and we'll, uh, we'll put 100 in there. Okay. I got an error for some reason, so I had to put autobox.m in there. Um, the example I have, it didn't do that, so I guess whatever. So yeah, we got to call the class. That's how you call a static method. Um, I just forgot, I guess. So you do a autobox and then dot and then the method name, of course, if it's static. So anyway, anyway. So let's look at this, okay? So we have a uh, integer object tie wrapper reference right here, right? And then we are making a object here right so what this does we're calling the method here and then it's saying 
it's giving the parameter 100, okay? But the parameter it wants is not 100, and 100 is a primitive data type. So what it has to do is convert 100 to an um, object type. So now it's uh, auto boxing, right? And then it's gonna come here, right? And it's gonna say, oh, okay, you wanna return an integer primitive type? Then okay, we can do that. So it's gonna convert um, the uh, object 100 back to an object 100 of the primitive type. <laughs> and then, it's going to come here. It's going to say, oh, wait, we have to put this into a type wrapper. So it's going to convert it, auto box it back into a 100 object. So it's just going back and forth. And yeah, so just uh, if that didn't make any sense, just look at it, take it slow and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, pause the video if you need to just play around with it and you can understand it pretty simply. So anyway, that's just an example of how auto boxing is used inside of methods, right? So now I can show you how auto boxing is used inside of expressions. And ex what I mean by expressions is just like, uh, like math expressions, like, you know, one plus one, stuff like that, one times one. So, uh, yeah, so let's get rid of all this up here. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so let's declare a few uh, integer type wrappers, type wrapper references, right? So we'll call it int1, and then we'll have int2. Okay, and let's declare a primitive type here. So that's a primitive integer. And we'll set int1, the, the type wrapper one, equal to 100. So automatically that's just out of boxing 100 into that object. So anyway, then we're just going to print that out here, right? Um, original value of int1. Oops. <laughs> oh my, I'm struggling. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Int1. Okay, so it's just going to print out int1 right there. And then, um, we're gonna have another thing here, so we can have like plus plus into one. Okay, so that's a weird thing. You don't really use that often, but I just want to show it. So it's gonna output um, new into one. Okay, so I'll explain what that does in a second. How that's auto boxing. So what this does here, it's gonna um, unbox the into one object here. And then it's going to perform the increment, the expression here. So it's going to uh, increment 100 by 1. So it's going to be 101. Then it has to rebox it back into an object. And it's going to do that. And yeah, so it's uh, unboxing and then reboxing after it does the expression. That's how expressions work. Okay. So yeah. So we're going to do another expression here. So we can do like int2 is equal to int1 plus um, int1 divided by 3, something like that, you know. Okay, so this one's a little more difficult, not really. So what this does, um, int1 is auto box. Both of these are auto box, right? And then the expression is va evaluated. Remember, it auto boxes before the expression is is done. And then so you get the value of all this. The expression is done, right? So we get the value, and then it's going to be reboxed. And then the the return, the uh, what's it called? The result of this expression is going to be reboxed back into a uh, object here called int2. Okay. So yeah, I know that was a lot, but oh well. And then, um, yeah. So also we have our i, our primitive type here, i equals, and then we can do int1 equals, or plus uh, int1 divided by three. So likewise, well actually not likewise, um, what happens here is it's unboxed, right? But then it's not reboxed after the expression happens. So yeah, so it's gonna unbox at first, right? Just so it can do the expression. But remember how I said up here, the expression was reboxed and then put back into here. Well, we don't need to put it back into an object because this is already a primitive type. So it's gonna unbox and then it's not gonna rebox after the expression is done. So yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, so I know that was a lot, but you know, it's pretty simple, right? So uh, yeah. And then likewise, we could also add, um, we could do like integer, in three equals in like 100 or something like that. So that's out of box in 100 into an integer object, of course, the type wrapper object, um, whatever you want to call it. So double one, we could do like a double here and we do like 98.6. Oh, that's thunder, by the way, if you hear that, I might die. So anyway, so double one is equal to double one plus the int three. Okay, so what this is going to do is, what is, I'll put the value, I mean the, the result here. So what this does is uh, it unboxes everything, well on this side at least, and then it does the expression. So it's gonna add 100 to 98 plus um, 0.6. So it's gonna unbox it, right, and do the expression, and it's gonna rebox it, and then put it back into double one. Okay, and then double one's gonna be outputted here, you know? So that's very simple, right? 
Okay, so and then yep, that's that. <laughs> so another, I know I went through that kind of fast, but um, it's really simple, you know. It's just unboxing, doing the expression. If it needs to be reboxed, it'll rebox it for you, and just yeah. So the point is really, guys, is that unboxing is really cool. Saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of brain waves, and all that kind of stuff. So now we can look at unboxing with the non-numeric uh, values. Um, we could do the boolean and the character values. So this is how we unbox um, booleans. So we could do, uh, oops boolean b we'll just call it b is equal to true okay and don't get fooled boolean and capital b boolean is different so that's an object and this one's a primitive type okay so b2 equal to true so there's a difference between these two this is an object in the type wrapper and this is a regular primitive okay so yeah gotta keep you gotta keep track of this capital here because a capital obviously is going to be a class yeah, so that's how you do that. That's how you um, auto box um, a boolean. So, so let's show you an example of a boolean being un, um, un auto auto unboxed. Um, oh shit, that was loud. So we could do uh, b in here. So we could put the value of b, and then whatever happens is b b blah blah blah. So if this is true, so what's going to happen here is that b is going to be um, auto unboxed, so it can um, be used in here. And then once this is done being used, it'll be reboxed and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So basically, the point is, whenever using um, a Boolean a uh, a Boolean object inside of a if statement, it's going to be unboxed for you, auto-unboxed. So, yeah. So we could also do likewise. We could do the character. So uh, character, we could ch call it char1, of course. And we could say it's equal to x. So that's going to be um, auto-boxing for the characters is then and then likewise we can auto unbox it so char uh, char 2 is equal to char 1 so that's just um, unboxing char 1 into char 2 the primitive type and yeah Whew, I know that was a lot but um that's how you do unboxing auto um, <laughs> auto boxing and auto unboxing okay so I mean it's really simple concept it's just saving you a lot of time and stuff like that and uh, yeah so if you have any questions about it don't be afraid to ask you can ask in the comment section also, we have a Discord that you can join, and then you can ask questions if you want to, or anything you want to do, hang out, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so I'll leave some links in the description where you can check out more on auto boxing if you need to. I'll leave some references. I do that for every episode, pretty much, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace. Being bro made me rich. Being bro made me rich. Gotta keep